Well, let's have a look at the highlights. Brixing United on the front foot early. Pradeep Murray picking out Ellis. Ellis escaping a few of the Waterhouse defenders, but a shot was right at Kemar Foster. But after that, it was all about Waterhouse in the first half. Martin Davis with the cross, Atafaroy Pygrave unable to convert. First header over the top. Second one, ball coming in from Blair. Pygrave heading wide. Blair again with another beautiful delivery. Pygrave taking it down on his left footed shot. Brilliantly blocked by Black, who was substituted at the start of the second half. Waterhouse kept creating opportunities in the first. Pycrave again, stunning save. Brilliant reflex coming from Karel Holmes in goal. Markovic Brown might have gotten a touch onto it as well, the Racing United captain. And they weren't done yet in the first half. Chiverson to Pycrave. Pycrave's had a weak and comfortably saved by Holmes on that occasion. They kept coming. Tenardo Thomas cutting it inside. Bygrave with a pretty good right-footed effort. And once again, Corral Holmes with a stunning save. Kept the score 0-0 at the end of the first. Second half action now. Waterhouse continuing to be on the front foot. Smith shot blocked. Held to Bygrave, who took it on the left foot. The keeper out of his goal. And Bygrave converting into the empty net. 1-0 to Waterhouse. It was to be the only game, the only goal of the game. There you have it. Pump the left foot of Atafaroy Bygrave. And another night, he could have had a he could have had a hat trick. Tonight, his one goal was all they needed. Ronaldo Biggs had a good game. Oh, this was a lovely ball inside the box. Taken down, penalty. Look at that ball. Absolutely beautiful. Radev Murray with the responsibility. Kemar Foster diving away to his left. The shot was weak. It was team. The positioning telegraphed. And the massive chance missed. Mekhine Williams came on and he introduced himself with this ferocious drive. Tested Foster at his near post. Came off the left upright. Ellis slipping this one through for Cole. Across the face of Cole. Maybe just high for the impact sub. They really did press. And then with the final kick of the game. Over the top. How did he not at least bring that on target? And so, that's how it would end. Waterhouse getting the victory by a goal to nil over Racing United. Final statistics. 11 attempts for Waterhouse, 5 of them on target, 10 for Racing United, 4 of them on target. 19 fouls in the contest, 11 against racing, 6 yellow cards split down the middle. 55% possession for Waterhouse, 45 for Racing United, it was 58-42 at the end of the first half, so racing really did press in that second half. But they come up just short, and Waterhouse, the two-time champions, have the 1-0 win in their opening game of the 2024-2025 Jamaica Premier League season.